another life in the farm video. You know, one of these things where you just can't make it up. The damn well quit, so today we're going to pull the well. Just I'm going to set this thing right here and you can listen to the cussing and swearing as it happens. So if this was an instructional video, which it's not, basically I got this pipe screws in the top, put a bar through it, and pull like hell. So we're screwed. The pump is frozen in the mud. Not sure how we're going to get it out. Well, the well saga continues. Uh, basically, we're screwed because we pulled as hard as we could. And what happened was the uh, plastic pipe that goes down to the pump broke about, what, 20 foot from the top of the well. So now we're faced with a the series of problems. Number one, the house has no water. Um, number two, well, to get a new well drilled in this kind of weather is not going to happen. Nobody's available for a couple weeks out. So what do you do in the meantime? So <laughs> I guess this is going to turn into a survival type video because we do have a plan and fortunately for us, we have a well uh, system in that barn, so we have a source of water on the property. And what we're going to do is come up with a temporary solution to do things like flushing toilets and washing dishes and stuff like that, showers, but not drinking water. So, this is the tank we use to... Uh, bring water to the cows in the summertime and we're going to set it right next to the house water system and uh, fill it up with a hose from the barn you know it's about 250 gallons 300 gallons and I'm gonna go get a, a shallow well um, jet pump put right on the end of that spigot there and use that to pressurize the house system and at least we'll be able to flush toilets and stuff for a while. And we'll just have to add into our daily farm routine. <laughs> Fill in the tank from time to time. Daily or by day. We don't know how fast it's going to use water. We'll find out. But that's all we can do for now until we can come up with a, a plan to replace the well. So here's the temporary solution. I went and got a uh, pump from Tractor Supply. It's a uh, half horsepower shallow well pump. And what I did was uh, just plumbed it right to the pump. 
and uh, plumb that right into our our house well system. You know, we got a tank there. I put a filtration system in it, and I use PEX to go there. You know, I'm a little bit nervous about how long the line is, and uh, I'm also a little bit nervous about that pump being uh, below the tank, so there's always pressure. But I backed off the regulator there, and it seemed like it worked fine. So right now, I mean, if I can get water in here from the barn, um, this system here will pressurize my house, and that may be what I have to do for the time being. So, well, the system works. Um, the one thing I did have to do is I had to bypass the original uh, pressure switch and use the original one that was on the on the house system. And I'm not sure why, but that one would just flutter. So I just powered it directly from the old one. And uh, you know, the tank's got good pressure. You know, I checked it, it, it had uh, 45 pounds. And uh, the pump seems like it has no problem building pressure. You know, we've got a few, a few little things to debug. A little leak right there, but there's a leak somewhere in the tank, but you know something? Right now it's another one of those storms blowing through. We've got 45 mile an hour winds and horizontal snow and sleet going on outside. Really nasty. And guess what? <laughs> we got water, kind of, but it may not be exactly what we want, but that sure is better than not having anything at all. And uh, fill this tank up today, and we're going to start trying to see how much we actually use. And that's going to be kind of an interesting exercise. That's 200 gallons right there. This is going to have to do for us until we can get a new well drilled. And the well drillers are quoting me around $8,000, but they can't get here until three or four weeks. So this system here is all I have for, for water in the house for three or four weeks. You know, the problem is what happened was when we broke the uh, plastic pipe down to the uh, submersible pump in the well, it was an old five inch diameter well casing. And you can't drop another pump down alongside that uh, inch and a half tubing, it just won't go. So basically that five inch well casing is, and that well is just basically done. One thing I'm kind of considering is is uh, just install an old style jet pump because I think the two tubes and the jet could fit down alongside there. And that might be another way of extending our, our time before they can drill a well. You know, right now it's just too cold, can't do it, but I could probably go and do that as another temporary, it cost me another couple hundred bucks, I guess, but um, for now, to get us through next couple of weeks, this is what we have. Just another day on the farm, and uh, makes you appreciate the amenities in life. You know, water is, is something you just sort of take for granted until you don't have it anymore. Um, I got a leak there, I got a fix. So. Anyway, wish us luck. This has been a really rough winter. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye for now. I've got uh, someone taking a shower upstairs, so we're going to sit and watch the system cycle to make sure everything is, is working good. What I did was, again, got 200 gallon tank, low pressure hose to the intake of the shallow well jet pump and then I use PEX over to a filter and then I used the old systems that's what it was, was the old system I put a union in there so I could take it apart um, PEX to PVC filter system there's a check valve and there's a union so See if it drops pressure and the pump turns on and does a cycle and everything.